Are you a crafty kind of person? Do you like the look of gold foil on invitations, cards, or even leather or fabric, but don't want someone else to make them for you? Well, I'm going to show you today an easy and affordable way to hot foil your own design using the foil quill and your cutting machine. So We Are Memory Keepers have come out with this device that is essentially a heating pen and it works with your electronic cutting machine by using the heated tip and activated foil to draw over the sheet of foil and transfer that foil onto your project. I can honestly say it has lived up to the hype. It is such a great tool to have in your cutting machine arsenal. The kit I have here comes with everything you need to get started. There is a heat shield to protect your cutting machine from the heated tip while the tool is heating up, the instruction manual, three rolls of foil in rose gold, gold and silver, a roll of placement tape which is pretty much washi tape, the foil quill in three sizes which are standard, fine and bold, and four machine adapters for the Cricut, Brother, Sizzix and Silhouette machines. There are so many different materials and designs that you can make with this foil quill, but today I'm going to show you how I foiled an invitation that I created for a birthday. So here I am in the Cricut Design space. I've uploaded my artwork and now I'm going to change all the lines from cut to draw so that the foil quill is recognized and the cutter won't try and cut the foil. To do this, I'm selecting all the lines I come up to the line type and then select draw. Now all my lines go from cut to draw. Next I'm going to select all my lines and click on attach. This will make sure that the Cricut will foil my designs as I have designed it and not scatter my lines around to best fit the paper. I then continue by clicking make it. In this screen I line my invitation up to where I believe it would best fit on the cardstock size I have, which is A4 size. For the sake of this tutorial, I have just put one invitation on the sheet, but normally you would put two. Once I have my placement correct, I will then go to my cutting mat and add my cardstock. For those wanting to know, I am using 250 GSM or 100 pound navy cardstock for this design. Foil can be really difficult to work with because it curls easily and to help me along I find that adding a card the same size as the invitation to the top so I know where to add the tape helps tremendously. I look at the placement of the invitation on screen and I match up my invitation with the guides on the physical mat to make sure I'm foiling within the invitation. Once I add my tape, I remove the mask and go to my Cricut. Here I take the fine foil quill and screw it into my adapter for the Cricut. I pop it into the machine next to the blade, switch it on and add the heat shield underneath. After heating for 5 minutes, I remove it and then can start foiling. I go ahead and cut it out, then finish off the invitation by placing it into a lined envelope, complete with wax seal. Well, as you can hear, I am absolutely thrilled with the final outcome. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video.